Meanwhile, some sightseers today saw an unexpected attraction, a large mudslide in Diamond Fork Canyon in Utah County. Oh, it shut down a section of road for hours. New specialist Andrew Adams talked to travelers, including one who never expected to be caught in the middle of all of this. Right, Andrew? Yeah, it's a road a lot of people like to take on past me here in Spanish Fork to a place where there's lots of red rock and scenic views. But earlier today, that red rock turned into red mud. Definitely more of a rainstorm than I was expecting. Not long after the clouds rolled in. The whole river's just mud. It became clear something in Diamond Fork Canyon wasn't right. I got to the road and couldn't drive either direction. Jake Miller had taken a scenic detour. I wanted to check out the hot springs at Fifth Water. It was raining when I was in the springs. It was kind of nice. And that's when nice turned to nasty. On my way back, the trail was completely washed out. The road was in terrible shape. A slide had covered everything. Probably two feet of rock just clear across the road from one side to the other. And the area was practically impassable. There's some big boulders. I uh, helped a deputy move one of those off the road. As crews worked to clear the rock and debris, Travelers were stuck for hours at a sheriff's checkpoint. Just waiting it out. Nelson Gonzalez didn't want to turn back after driving all the way from Salt Lake. The mountains for you, the Uintas. Spent an hour digging and finally got through with my car. Miller might have wished it waited too. Pretty bad. Yeah. Pretty rough. After encountering an unexpectedly rocky road in the middle of a blue sky summer day. So I definitely wasn't expecting it. I did not come prepared. Well, beyond the big slide that we showed you, we're told that there are multiple areas of mud and debris clear on up to Springville Crossing. Definitely a lot for crews to get to. Back to you. Yeah, they're going to be working hard to clear that. Mm -hmm. Andrew, thank you.